There it is, Spreaker, Channel One, you're on the air. Let's see if we can get going here. We're gonna go live on WeStream tonight, a Sabbath service. So bear with me, uh, <laughs> 30 minutes of problems and issues. Welcome friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. All right, there it is. How you doing? What's going on, friends? Pastor Rick here, of course. Ministry Podcast Network live on our Sabbath. 35 or 30 minutes of problems and issues here. Uh, as usual, you know, one of these days or one of these decades, I'll get all this straightened out and fixed, uh, hopefully, uh, on the new location, on the new move or whatever it is. I don't know, but I tell you, friends, a little frustrating every night to have some kind of issue and problem. So, anyway, listen, we're going to go live uh, here as I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Let's see what our volume level uh, sounds like here on the main controls here. And we're going to go live to, where is it at? Let's go live right now, my friends. Got to get that countdown clock going. Uh, amen. And let's see what we got. Countdown. There it is. Friends, Restream TV live on the air. Ah uh, man, hopefully everything will be okay. We'll get uh, we'll get that rolling. Amen. Get that countdown clock going, and all the volume level. <laughs> I'll have to jump around here, uh, friends, for a bit here. Let me make sure. Uh, let's see, I got that together. All right, bear with me, guys. Hold that thought. Amen. All right. There it is, friends. Hold on here. We've got massive volume levels going on all over the boards here, so bear with me, guys. Oops. Hang on here. Oh, mercy. Where's that mouse at? All right. There's one. <laughs> Hang on here. Let's see what we got. Okay. Bear with me, friends. Uh, we're here. We're live. Restream TV. How y'all doing? Bear with me again on this. Like I said, trying to get the uh, monitors down here. All right. I think. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, my friend. Sometimes all my equipment is, uh, you know, how that goes. But all right. So let's see. We're here. Saturday night, late night service. Uh, 30 minutes of delays again, trying to get this going. And just everything uh, kind of backfired on me and wouldn't work. So, you know how it goes, my friends. Try to do the best I can here. So, anyway, you're live, Friends Ministry Podcast Network, Pastor Rick here. How you doing on a Sabbath, friends? It is a Sabbath. We're going to start it at, uh, as it is, 1130, uh, even though it took me a little bit of time to get going, uh, friends. So, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat in that front row, my friends. Make sure you got your Bibles with you, your cup of coffee, of course, uh, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters for your highlighters. And all that good stuff. We are live on Restream TV, YouTube, Twitch TV. Join us, kids. Behave yourself, would you? Hey, man. You know, we'd like you to come on in, but uh, all those comments are uh, not so good sometimes. So we got to behave ourselves in church there. Uh, amen. All right. So let's grab our monitors. We've got both monitors up and running here and uh, watching those channels. All right, coffee, pens, papers, notebook tablets. Like I said, come on in. Uh, live on Restream, uh, friends, tonight. And uh, let's see, make sure I got all my mices together. Um, what else? So, yeah, uh, Restream TV, YouTube, Twitch TV, LinkedIn, uh, Spreaker Audio, Spotify Podcast, wherever you guys listen to your favorite podcast. That's where it is, and that's where you can find uh, the ministry podcast here. 
Uh, for, like I said, the 14th Sabbath day, friends, Saturday. Amen. We're going to kick it off. We're going to get going here. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a, a great Saturday so far as we go into our Sunday uh, morning here. Now, I hope you guys get a chance to go to church uh, today. If you, uh, Well, you know, on Sunday morning there, whenever you get a chance to go in your local area. Uh, amen. And uh, what else uh, is happening here as we hit that midnight hour, friends? Amen. Cut myself coming into the studio. I don't know how. But uh, some, somewhere, some way, uh, coming into the studio or grabbing something, I ended up uh, taking part of my finger. So praying over that, putting some holy oil on it, and anointing that with the blood of Jesus, my friends. Washing it clean in the blood of Jesus. Let's get going. Let's get started. New subscribers on YouTube, by the way. Holy cow. Wow, that is awesome. Thank you, guys. It jumped. The numbers jumped last night. Uh, or this morning. So thank you guys for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Uh, I do appreciate that always. What a blessing. And, uh, you know, thank you guys again for the support. Uh, as, uh, you know, a as the numbers jump. And, uh, well, I hope you guys get something out of this. You know, it, it's great that I get a chance to do this and an opportunity to do this. So, uh, friends, thank you guys again. I am always humbled and uh, very appreciative of you guys. Uh, on all the channels, uh, not just YouTube, but all the channels, all the podcasts, Getter, Rumble TV, uh, True Social, Twitch TV, of course, uh, all the channels uh, all over the globe. International, by the way, coast to coast and worldwide, plus international. Friends, thank you guys ever so much for your massive support, of course, on Radio.co.uk. Uh, the uh, one of my other audio channels there, friends. So thank you guys again, again uh, live on Restream TV. Finally, uh, <laughs> mercy. You know all you can do is you know fight through it and keep going. You know. Uh, all right. So let's adjust this. I did put a new boom arm on this uh, microphone today or yesterday, uh, just because I was having some issues with uh, the other one. And uh, it wasn't holding up the way I wanted it to, so uh, I switched out. So, all right, well, let's see. Clipboard for the scriptures. Amen. Uh, continuing 2 Timothy chapters 3 and 4, and uh, a whole lot more, my friends. So, that's our opening scripture. Grab that fresh cup of coffee. Let's get our Bibles and let's pray it in. Right now, church, thank you guys again for hanging out with me. Ministry Podcast Network, Pastor Rick here. Good morning to you, brothers and sisters. Church is on. Your church service before your church service. Oh, you got to get excited about this word, my friends. Amen. All right, let's stretch. <laughs> let's see if I can't stretch this out a little bit. Uh, that's the cool thing about the boom arms. You get to adjust it. But like I said, the other one wasn't cooperating as best I wanted it to, so I had to kind of rearrange it and change it out. So, uh, amen. Heavenly Father, coming for you right now, just giving you all the grace, all, all the all the glory, because uh, you give us that grace, that that mercy, uh, Father God. So thank you uh, again, just for another opportunity I get here to to spread this word and to to share this message uh, in the Bible here. As always, thank you. I always humbled and grateful and uh, just uh, in awe, Father God, just in awe uh, how great you are. So thank you again for uh, everything you have done and continue to do and, uh, you know, uh, what what you called me to and uh, just everything on the ministry, everything on the podcast here, the increase that I've prayed for and waited patiently for for so long. Uh, Father God, you have provided that increase here on the podcast, on the ministry, and I know your hand is on this uh, this mission that you called me to. So thank you for that, and of course the equipment, the Wi-Fi, and all that too. Uh, and, and again, Father, always uh, Heavenly Father, always praying uh, for uh, family, uh, you know, uh, just family out there, everybody uh, connected. Uh, everybody watching, hearing the podcast, bless them as well as you always do. Uh, protect them, guide them, watch over them as, uh, you know, as we are in these end times, these dark times. Father God, just 
protect them, give them that strength and that courage and that encouragement uh, in these uh, end times as we see uh, here. Uh, Father God, just uh, watch over and protect them. Just give them that encouragement and that hope and that strength that you always do. It's always amazing what you do and what you continue to do and have done already. Uh, Father God says we hold on to the cross. Uh, we, we push forward. Um, you know, just do what we got to do, uh, you know, uh, just in everything. So thank you just in advance for all that, uh, Father God, as we, we hold on. Uh, Father God, we just hold on, uh, you know, and uh, just keep praying through it and, and giving you all the glory honor and praise of course and uh so we give it over to you right now in jesus name i pray amen and amen well how y'all doing what's going on in in your neck of the woods friends how you doing tonight uh again blessings shalom my friends uh praying for israel uh boy oh boy what a you know just what a thing going on over there so we're praying for everybody there of course in our own backyards wherever you're at pray for uh you know your city your town uh what is you know we see end times here friends so uh you know like i said uh yesterday's podcast just take a take a few minutes out friends and pray uh for uh pray for you know your family uh brothers sisters uh you know uh friends uh everybody uh friends and uh you know just keep praying for them and and pray in your own backyards you know basically is what uh, i heard from god uh not too long ago he said you know pray for the world of course but uh pray for those in your your own house in your own backyard and uh, your own cities, your own towns, you know, we gotta, we gotta do that. Lift them up. Encouragement, friends. Thank you for that, all that too, as well. Uh, yeah, but, uh, we, we have to, uh, you know, encourage our, our families and, and brothers and sisters, of course. So, and of course, sending shout outs to my little sisters and of course, my sons and, uh, family and friends, uh, you guys watching, hanging out, friends. Oh, I appreciate that, uh, support. That is awesome. And again, bless you guys so much and uh, just thankful and grateful for the opportunity I get to hang out with you and, and read some Bible here, read some scriptures. All right, so it's our fourth service uh, here. I did a little couple of them earlier on and uh, some updates. So, uh, you know, uh, like I said, come on in. The doors are open. We're going to take a look friends uh as i left off at uh one and two and then we went uh, left off at chapter three uh for second timothy uh in our our scriptures last night uh in the uh, in the bible study we were doing yesterday last night there and uh so yeah let's uh let's continue let's get into it friends again just kind of watching monitors um got everything kind of set up again and kind of balanced out here but uh we're gonna like i said we're gonna go into second timothy uh chapters three and four and then of course our opening notes uh scriptures uh side you know side scriptures there now i do have some water with me so i am going to be drinking a little bit of water instead of some coffee but uh you know trying to keep up with uh uh keep up with things and uh you know, had had this uh, laryngitis o over the last few days. That's why that uh, there was a, like a seven day gap there in between podcasts. For some odd reason, I guess the weather's changing and all that. So I had uh, had a bit of a laryngitis attack on me, but I squelched it and got rid of it. So I'm still, you know, having my teas and having my water. So, hey man, all right. Make sure I don't knock nothing over. All right, can we do some reading, <laughs> my friends? As I, as I spot another rogue fly uh, hovering around here, I don't know what he's doing, but uh, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna keep moving, friends. Good to see you guys. Good to be here with you. Uh, again, I always appreciate your support and glad you stopped by the studio for a little bit here. Studio A, coast to coast, worldwide. You're on the air friends good evening to you good morning to you uh amen so let's read 
uh, friends, as we get into the scriptures here on the service, let's go ahead and just get right into it, uh, friends. Again, I got me some rabbling to do, and a Bible study broke out. I know. It never gets old, right? Okay, friends, let's go ahead and get into our Bibles. I hope you got them with you uh, this morning. We're going to go into, again, 2 Timothy chapters 3 and 4, concluding that uh, that chapter and that book there. So let's read it. Let's get to it. Friends, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. Hanging out. All right, chapter 3 in the book of 2 Timothy, verse 1. Now this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, friends, as we are seeing for sure. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous boasters, uh, proud blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of uh, of those, uh, let's see, um, that are his. I believe that's what that scripture says, or that part of that verse. Uh, as my notes got wrecked here, <laughs> you know. Uh, now, remember the side notes. That's going to be Romans one thirty one for that one. As we continue in verse 4, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Philippians 3.19. Verse 5, uh, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. 2 Thessalonians 3, 6. Verse 6, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts. Matthew 23, 14. Amen. All right, verse 7. Now ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Janus and Jambres uh, withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Again, clear signs as we are seeing here. Verse 9, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, and patience, friends. Uh, amen, right? All right, verse 11 persecutions, afflictions, which come unto me at Antioch and at Iconium, uh, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured. But out of them all the Lord delivered me. Psalm 34, 19, 2 Corinthians 1, 10, church for that verse there. Uh, and chapter, of course, verse 12 here. Now, yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Joshua 17, uh, 17 14 there. Uh, 13, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived again clear signs here folks all right uh let's see let's go ahead and go up there and of course my bookmarks are giving me a tough time here so we're going to work around that friends uh amen all right how about verse 14 preach the word our objective right our our directive uh and instructions of course so he says in verse 14 but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. 2 Timothy 1.13 And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. We've got John 5.39 there. 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that uh, the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. 1 Timothy 6, 11, friends. But we're going to do a quick sound check here, uh, just making sure I've got volume. 
oops, <laughs> turn the main volume down, go into the monitors here. If I can. I don't know what's going on with that, but. Oh, man. All right. Well, <laughs> it's always something, right? It's always something on there. All right. Let's see if I got that there. Well, let's see. I got that. And. Okay. Let's get that volume down here. We're going to check something. All right. Well, I got something going on there anyway. it's I think it's working. I'm pretty sure. If you guys can give me a thumbs up, let me know uh, if you guys can hear everything okay. I appreciate that. Let's see. Where is my volume here? All right. There it is. <laughs> I got volume coming from somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but something's going on, and I got volume level there. But I think, I'm pretty sure, it looks like it's okay here, so. Huh. Hold on here, friends. I got a volume uh, getting me somewhere. There it is. Okay. All right. Well, I know it's working, so that's a, a good sign. Uh, it looks like it's uh, doing okay there. All right. Well, good enough there. All right. I always have to check, too. Uh, friends, uh, kind of always have to double-check the volume level, make sure everything's working. Uh, I didn't hear it my monitors again. I'm not quite sure why. All right, so that looks like that's going okay. Before we get into Chapter 4 here, let me do a quick round and sound check here. There it is. All right, so again, give me a thumbs up, you guys. I appreciate that. If you can hear everything okay, I've been working, you know, kind of trying to get everything set up and, and make sure it works right here, so. Bless you guys. All right, let's keep going. How about chapter 4, friends, in 2 Timothy? Now I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and in his kingdom. Acts 10.42, 2 Timothy 2.14. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. 1 Timothy 4.13. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Again, clear signs of the end times here, friends. Uh, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. Hold on, where is my... Uh, I sleep in computers again. Anyway, let's keep going uh, in verse 5 again. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist, friends. Make full proof of thy ministry, Acts 21.8 and 2 Timothy. Uh, we got five, I believe. Uh, I'll have to look at that. But I think it's Timothy 1.8 there. Uh, six, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. Philippians 1, 23 for that. Now, I have a thought. He says, I have fought. Not a thought, but he says, uh, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. 1 Corinthians 9, 24, 1 Timothy 6, 12. Uh, henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Friends, we've got 1 Corinthians 9.25 and 1 Peter 5.4 for that side scripture, friends. There you go. Uh, and he tells us again here, friends, are clear instructions, uh, friends, and uh, as we look at it, he says, Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me, for Demas hath uh, forsaken me, 
having loved this present world and is departed unto Thessalonica, Cretans to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia, and we got Colossians 4.15 and 1 John 2.15 for that. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with me, for he is profitable for me uh, for the ministry. Uh, and Tychicus have I sent to Ephesus, Acts 20, verse 1 or 4, and Colossians 4, 7. The cloak that I left at Troas at Carpus, when thou comest, bring with thee, and the books, but especially the parchments. Uh, Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. Of whom be thou ware also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. At my first answer no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. In 17, notwithstanding the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear uh, and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion, Psalm 22, 21 on that one. And we got verse 18, and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. Then will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. We got Galatians 1, 5 for that one, friends. Uh, salute Presca and Aquila. The household of Onesphorus, uh, Erastus, abode at Corinth, but Trophimus have I left at Miletum sick, uh, Acts 19.22. Do thy diligence to come before winter, Eubulus greeteth thee, and Pudens, and Linus, and Claudia, and all the brethren. Second Timothy 4.9. Now the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, uh, over thy spirit, grace be with you, amen. And we're talking about the Lord shall deliver from us. There you go. Uh, good scripture, right? Good scriptures, as always. I uh, just decided to go ahead and go into that. All right, let's get our handy, trusty uh, clipboard and take a look at what's next. How about those opening scriptures, uh, friends? Can we do that? Can, do you not got, have your... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have your opening scriptures with you, your podcast scriptures. Friends, get a hold of me worldwide live ministry podcast, at ne or not the not the network part, but uh, at yahoo.com. That is our official uh, email contact uh, for the ministry there. All right, so trying to work on the setup here, making sure we're good. Our Saturday late night for service here, friends. Uh, podcast, uh, church service, amen. There's our friends from Japan. Konnichiwa, domo Uh Amen. Again, praying for Esrael, praying for uh, family, friends, everybody, uh, you guys here watching the podcast. Thank you guys again always for your support, and I'm glad you're here, friends. Even for a few minutes, if you're just, you know, hanging out, having some coffee, uh, relaxing, chilling out for a little bit, having some Bible study, uh, friends with me. Thank you guys for that. And uh, again, our replay viewers, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for the thumbs up and uh, support, of course, on that. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's all. I, I'm just in awe. Uh, I'm watching the numbers just just increase. And, you know, I've been praying uh, steadfastly for the increase. And uh, it just amazes me, friends. It just uh, absolutely amazes me. So thank you guys. Somebody's, you know, somebody's getting it. I appreciate you guys. I do. Uh, amen and amen. I'm glad you guys are here. Glad you guys stopped by. Like I said, I, I hope uh, what I'm doing helps you in your walk with Christ, friends. Lots to unpack here as I always throw out a good couple of hours worth of, pod, you know, worth of scriptures and messages there. I uh, just, like I said, I've just been battling with things here and the uh, studios and, and all the Wi-Fi problems and the distractions and all that stuff. But, you know, I, I keep plowing through it. I know uh, I have an end, end uh, 
uh, what was it, uh, end goal or something like that, uh, you know, that's, uh, I know, I got to keep steady, steadfast in the race, friends, so, again, bless you guys, thank you guys for so much for hanging out and uh, supporting the channel here, um, amen, let's get to some scriptures, shall we, shall we get to the opening scriptures, the opening uh, podcast notes here, friends, I hope you got them, pull them up, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it again. Uh, our first one here, uh, our what is it? Uh, Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Let's go ahead and look at that, friends. Amen. Now, dear God, I know that I'm a sinner, and I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me. I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. At this very moment, I accept, uh, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. Friends, church, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, let's jump to the next set of scriptures, friends. You know what we do here. I appreciate that. Uh, serenity prayer, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that cannot change and the courage to change the things that can and the wisdom to know the difference living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, and accepting hardships as the pathway to peace taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Friends, amen and amen to that. All right, let's move right along here, friends. Let's go into our Lord's Prayer. Now, our Father, <clears throat> which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us now lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil friends uh, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen and amen all right, uh, let's grab some water here again real quick. Uh, amen. All right. Well, <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing good. Ah, uh, mercy on this Sunday morning, early Sunday here. Just a tad over, what, 12.20 a.m., friends. You're dialed in. You're tuned in. To the word of God, friends. Appreciate you dropping by. Well, let's look at it. Ephesians 6, 10, 2, 20. Let's boot up and suit up, friends. Because, you know, that devil's always been up in our grill. So we got a little something, something for him, friends. Let's throw it at him. Let's give it to him and get him behind us. Right? Amen. All right. Uh, uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. The whole armor of God, friends. We got to do that every single day. All right, family, my brothers and sisters. Oh, he tells us to be strong and in the power. Hang on here, friends. I got a, a nap and laptop here. It's <laughs> taking a snooze. Uh -uh, I don't think so. You better wake up. <laughs> Amen. All right, let's continue right uh, where we were at here. He says, in the power and the might, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to uh, stand are able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand... Uh, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace, my friends. Above all, taking the shield of faith, 
wherewith he shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God, Pray, uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that that their enemy speak boldly as I ought to speak, friends. And there you go. You've been armored up. Amen. All right. Take a deep breath. Stretch out, my friends. We are too blessed to be stressed, friends. All right. I uh, better get me some coffee. Uh, <laughs> I hear that cup of calling here, friends. We better grab some coffee while we've got an opportunity here. All right. Fresh brewed off the griddle, my friends. Nothing like a good cup of coffee in a Bible study, right? Amen. Okay, what do we got, what do we got going on? Oh, mercy. Let's kick it into gear here, friends. We better get going on this. All right, um, let's see. We're going to roll up into here, uh, if I can. And uh, we're going to take a look at something here. So give me a minute, and we are going to continue our study here. All right. I, go with me, if you dare, my friends, if you will. We're going to uh, go through uh, Jude, the book of Jude. And, of course, Revelation chapters 1 through 3. And the second part, we're going to go uh, 20 to 22. So we're going we're gonna to dive into Revelation again here, friends. Uh, again, as uh, we are in these end times uh, happening here. So let's, uh, let's jump first here, friends. Let's go ahead and read out uh, the book of Jude. Uh, brief, not much, but uh, let's go ahead and check that out. Snoop around, if you will, my friends. Come on in, and let's uh, get us some Bible study. Good to be here with you again, uh, Pastor Rick here, Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, hey, man, it's good to be here with you in the studio here, friends. Uh, good to be here with you on this church service here. So let's keep going. Just a tad bit over 1230. You're live on the air, friends. I appreciate you dropping by the studio here let's read some bible and let's get into the word here folks uh now jude as we see in chapter one the servant of jesus christ brother james to them that are sanctified of god the father and preserved in jesus christ and of course called amen now mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied first peter 1 2 Ah, uh, beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that, uh, let's get these notes together here, that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. We've got a double shot of scriptures there for you. Uh, Philippians 1 27, 2 Timothy 1 13, friends, for you on that one. Let's go to verse 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 9 21, Titus 1 16 for that. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. Uh, and the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, uh, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness, under the judgment of the great day. Amen. Now, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, uh, are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. 
We've got Genesis 19, 24, 2 Peter 2, 6 for that. Uh, now, likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, uh, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Uh, we've got Daniel 10.13 for that. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally is brute beasts to those things that corrupt themselves, or they corrupt themselves, Woe unto them, as church, as we see in verse 11 here, he says, Woe unto them, for they have gone the way of Cain and ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward and perished into the gainsaying of Kor. These are spots near feasts of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees uh, whose fruit withereth. Without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Proverbs 25, 14 on that one, friends. Amen. All right, now raging waves of the sea in verse 13, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Isaiah 57, 20. And Enoch, also the seventh from Adam, uh, prophesied of these saying, uh, amen. Let's uh, let's see. Where's my? I lost my bookmark. <laughs> Hold on, there, friends. There you go. Had to make sure my bookmark was on that one. So thank you guys for being patient on that. Now, as he says here, uh, prophesied of these sayings. Uh, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed. All right. Uh, let's see. And of all their hard speeches with ungodly sinners, I uh, have spoken against him. 1 Samuel 2, 3, Malachi 3, 13 on that one. Now, again, as we clearly see, friends, in these end times, we're watching it. It's happening, right? We're in it. Uh, these are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration uh, because of advantage. And that's got uh, Proverbs 28, 21 on that one. But he tells us here, friends, he says, But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, how that they have told you that there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. Uh, 1 Timothy 4, 1 for that one. Now, again, let's go back into, uh, we're in Jude here, friends, in verse 19. Now, these be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. Uh, Proverbs 18, 1, and Hosea uh, 4, 14 for that. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And if some have compassion, making a difference. All right, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Uh, to the only wise God, our Savior, the glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Romans 16, 27, friends. And there you go. That was the book of Jude. Uh, amen. All right. We get going on here. 
All right. Uh, okay. Let's uh, jump over to the next scripture here. Tin Can. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys uh, to everybody out there on Tin Can. You guys are jumping on. I appreciate that. Ellie, thank you for your support. I saw the comment. Thank you for that. I appreciate, uh, appreciate that. Uh, thank you again. And, of course, everybody on Tin Can. I appreciate you guys, each and every one. If you guys haven't checked it out, Tin Can. Uh, it gives you a free audio. Uh, you go live, you go, uh, you know, do your uploads, whatever you're talking about, whatever you're sharing. Uh, check it out, sign up, friends. Again, not sponsored on any of these, but just uh, enjoy uh, the channels. And uh, you know, as I reached out and prayed for increase, uh, just looking whatever channels I could get to, I, I found a, a quite a bit actually. And uh, so I'm. You know, I, I just like to share the love, friends, and get those out there. So thank you guys again for your support and hanging out on those channels. Uh, amen. Of course, Block Talk Radio, uh, friendsradio.co, and, uh, of course, the mother channel right here at YouTube. Uh, again, going on the uh, the channels, uh, the multiple channels, uh, Restream TV, uh, Melon TV, we've got StreamYard TV, and then of course the audio part of the podcast and Canva coming up. Going to do some things on there. Uh, amen. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> God is answering the increase or giving me the increase. So let's keep moving, friends. We're going to jump into the first three chapters of Revelation. Uh, and then I want to go to the end of that, uh, the end of the revelation again, uh, 20 through 22. I think really the beginning and the end of revelation, uh, I mean, everything in between, of course, we've always done, but, uh, I tell you friends, boy, there's a, a lot to, uh, take a look at. And this is why I want to go in there. So let's, let's do it. Let's go ahead and read, uh, first three chapters of revelation. And, of course, then uh, the end part of the book of Revelation. Let's go ahead and do that again. Uh, friends, let's take a look at it. Uh, Revelation chapters 1 through 3 here on this uh, first part, this first hour. Uh, I appreciate you guys dropping on in the house. Amen. Now, chapter 1, Revelation. Let's look at it. The St. John the Divine. John the man, John the brother, John the revelator, John the preacher, preaching that good word, friends. Let's check it out. Chapter 1, Revelation. Good morning to ya. All right. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. John 3.32 for that first verse there. Uh, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of the things, of all things that he saw. All right. Blessed is he that leadeth or readeth, not leadeth, but readeth uh, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. Uh, friends, uh, hello, for the time is at hand, he says. Uh, Luke eleven twenty eight. there. Now, John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come. And from the seven spirits which are before his throne, Exodus 3.14, John 1.1 1, 1 for that. Let's sign that one up. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go back up here. Do, 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 do. Verse 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, John 8, 14. As I always say, we were bought at a price, friends, lest we forget and carry on on our own, right? He says, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, friends, when he died on the cross for us. All right, John 8, 14 for that. In verse 6, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, 
To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Verse 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye, friends, every eye shall see him. And they also, uh, they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth uh, shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Daniel 7, 13. He tells us in verse 8, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty, friends. Uh, nine here, I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and uh, in the kingdom and the patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, all right, uh, let's see. For the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard, uh, and heard, behold me, a great voice as of a trumpet, friends. Now saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, what thou seest write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea, Revelation, uh, that's going to be over in Revelation 1.8 there, uh, friends, as we're talking about Revelation here. All right, let's get those notes together there. All right, let's go on to the next here. Uh, 12 and, uh, hold on, uh, Marcy, all right, um, <laughs> wow, all right, give me a minute here, friends, let me get caught up on this part here, all right, and I turned to see the voice, he says, that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, uh, Exodus 25, 37, Revelation 1, 20, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clawed with a garment down to the foot, and girt, as we are in the King James here, uh, he says, girt about with paps, with a golden girdle, Ezekiel 126, Revelation 2.1, as we look at the letters to the churches, friends, on this, uh, amen. All right. Get that bookmark in there. Uh, let's look at 14. Now his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters, Ezekiel 1, 7, Revelation 2, 18. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. We got Isaiah 49, 2 and Ephesians 6, 17, friends, on that. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen and have the keys of hell and of death. Uh, Psalm 68, verse 26 there. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. Revelation 1, 12. The mystery of the seven stars, which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks, the seven stars of the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches, Zechariah 4.2. Now let's move on to chapter 2 here in the book of Revelation this morning, friends. Under the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, and walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, Revelation 1.13, as we see, uh, I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, 
and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars. We've got Psalm 1 6 there. And hast borne and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored and hast not fainted. All right, let's lower this down a little bit here. All right. Ah, uh, nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. And you got to ask yourself that question, friends. Have we left our first love? We got to get back to it, friends. That's the key. Get back to it, my friends. All right, let's keep going. Uh, as he says, because thou hast left, uh, left thy first love. And remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. And repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly. I will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Uh, Matthew 21, 41 there. But this thou hast, thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate, Revelation 2, 15. He that hath an ear, friends, let him hear. With the Spirit, as he says here, uh, let's see, the Spirit saith unto the churches, to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Friends. Genesis 2, 9, Revelation 3, 6. And unto the angel of the church and smeared the right, be saying, saith the first and the last, which are dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, friends. All right. But are of the synagogue of Satan, friends. He says this right there. Let's go to verse 10. Now fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Uh, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, but thou faithful, or be thou faithful, um, let's see, unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Matthew 10, 22 for that, friends. All right, uh, now he that hath an ear, friends, let him hear with the Spirit, uh, saith unto the churches, he that overcometh shall not be hurt, of the second death. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, the saying saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges, uh, I know thy works and where thou dwellest, uh, even where Satan's seed is, and thou holdest fast to my name and hold not denied my face, or hast not denied my faith. Even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. That's Revelation 2, verse 2 there, friends. All right, but I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there, let's see, they're them that hold the doctrine of Balaam and taught Balak uh, to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. Numbers 24, 14 there. So hast thou also let, or also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate, he says in Revelation 2, 6. Uh, again, watch this, friends. He tells us here clearly, uh, repent or else I will come unto thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. There you go. All right, 17. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he hath received it, or receive with it in Revelation 2 7. And there you go. First hour is up. Clock in already set. Tin can. Thank you guys again, Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here. 
Uh, we're still on our first hour. We're still live, Restream TV, YouTube, Twitch TV, all those good channels, friends. Tin Can, I'll see you on the next one. I'll talk to you on the next one. And again, thank you guys for everything. Thank you again. Talk to you soon, friends. Hold that thought, friends. Give me a minute, and let's post that out. There it is, that first hour live on Tin Can. Check it out. Snoop around, my friends. Sign up, if you will. All right. Um, ba -ba -dum. All right, double-checking my notes here. I think we left off at verse 18 here, friends, in, uh, in Revelation. So <laughs> give me a minute. I'm trying to watch everything. I tell you, it's uh, one of these days I'm actually going to do some pictures here behind the scenes here. So I was thinking of adding a, uh, adding a camera from the side view here, uh, right up here in the corner uh, to kind of show down on the monitors and everything here in the, the podium here. Uh, I'm, I'm working on getting a second camera. So that's going to be really, really nice uh, to have. Friends, so it'll be a kind of a different view here. So I'll have to tag it into my my main laptop here. So that's that's coming up in the near future. All right. Um, double checking everything. I think we're okay there. Double checking my volume level, and of course on the Spreaker channel, there it is, still live there, doing the audio live. Uh, again, I told you about that. I was in Hollywood, California back in the 80s, and uh, I survived it, of course. Uh, and um, I, uh, I happened to walk by one of the famous radio stations out there, and they were doing a live broadcast uh, and a live video. And that gave me the inspiration to do what I do now. I've been doing that from the very beginning, first podcast ever that I did. It's in the archives, the church archives there. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it, that inspired me to do the audio on the video part of the podcast, the same, you know, simulcast, and that, I've been doing that ever since. So that is uh, pretty awesome stuff. So um, that's, that's like always an inspiration, uh, you know, why I do the audio and the video at the same time, uh, just because, you know, there's certain... Uh, certain channels and uh, I don't know what the word is. Um, there is certain, um, you know, where your location is at. Sometimes you don't get all the channels that are out there. Uh, and so I, I had to, you know, think of a way to get all the audio and the video out at the same time, which was great. Uh, and, uh, you know, to have that, option for people to uh you know for viewers you guys out there to be able to you know have audio or have uh have video so that's uh good i'm glad that uh, this is available uh francis again this is a whole motivation why i do all this uh you know we need to hear this gospel friends yeah you know, and we know this there's, there's a lot of a lot of good stuff out there um, so, uh, I'm just g glad to be a part of it, you know, glad to be called into this mission and in this ministry to share this word, friends, get a little bit of rabbling radio in here, right? Uh, as John says, I'm just a voice crying out in the wilderness, friends, make straight the paths, the highways for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. All right, let's get moving. I got a lot more to cover here, friends. We're live on the air. Uh, again, coast to coast and worldwide, friends. You're live uh, here broadcasting in Studio A uh, in a rainy, balmy 54, friends. There's your weather update. <laughs> let's go to the field. <laughs> no, let's go, let's go to the studio. Back to you. Amen. Let's keep going here. We're in verse 18, Revelation, friends, this morning. Good to be here with you. All right, and the angel of the church in Thyatira, write these things, saith the Son of God, uh, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, friends, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more 
than the first. Revelation 2.12 there. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, uh, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself, uh, uh, let's see, a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Exodus 34, 15 there. And I gave her space to repent. Uh, he says, uh, of her fornication, and she repented not. Romans 2, 4. And behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery and her are with her into a great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give them, uh, let's see, I will give it to every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, and unto the rest of Thyatira, as many uh, as have not this doctrine, in which I uh, have not known the depths of Satan. As they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. Acts 15, 28 there. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Revelation 3, 11. And he that overcometh and keepeth thy works, or my words, works unto them, uh, to him will I give power over the nations. Matthew nineteen twenty eight, John six twenty nine for that one, friends. All right, let's go back up to the monitors here. Man, right. All right, bear with me, friends. Just a minute here. Um, we're going to our monitor. Uh, and then. All right. Uh, let's see. Good enough. Got it. Uh, got it locked in there. Oops. I think. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Okay. All right. Good enough. We're on the monitors. How to make sure the monitors are all set up, friends. So. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Uh, let's keep going. We got verse 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Revelation 3.11 on that. Uh, and he that overcometh to keep my works, or keepeth my works, unto, unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Matthew 19.28, John 6.29. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter, shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my Father. We got Psalm 2, 8, and Revelation 12, 15, or 12, 5 for that. And I will give him the morning star, 2 Peter 1, 19. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, friends. And that's Revelation 2, 7. Now let's go on. Uh, Revelation chapter 3, friends. Give me a minute here. All right. On our Sabbath morning, friends. Amen. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into that, friends. Chapter 3 in the book of Revelation. Now, unto the angel of the church of Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God, friends. Uh, and the seven stars, I know thy works that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Uh, Ephesians 2, 1. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch... Uh, let's see, I will come on thee as a thief. Now watch this, friends. He's telling us right here what's going to happen. He said, I, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So are we ready? Are we prepared, my friends? That's the good question right there. 
Now thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and will not blot, or I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Exodus 32, 32 and Matthew 10, 32. Now, did you hear that, friends? Did, did you hear what he's saying there? I, I, I don't know why people just pass over these, these scriptures here. In verse 5, chapter 3, in the book of Revelation, a clear message here. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not, church, blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name uh, before my father and before his angels. Think about that, friends. Oh, wow, that just got shivers. Wow. All right, so you got to get right, get right, get right, and repent. Uh, friends, make it right before it's too late. He's telling us basically in that. So he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Friends, Revelation 2, 7. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, these saying saith, he that is holy, he that is true. Uh, hold on there. I'm going to catch this before it goes to sleep. <laughs> there he is. Uh, let's get back to it, friends. Verse 7. He that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name, friends. Telling us right there. I'm saying. Now behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. And behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and know that he hath loved thee. Uh, I think we've got uh, Isaiah 49, 22 for that. Uh, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall cometh, friends, he says. Uh, let's see if I can get that without making it worse there. Uh, on all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Uh, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. Uh, hast that no man take thy crown. Uh, him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of thy God and the name of the city of my God, which is new Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name, 1 Kings 7.21. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Revelation 2, 7 on that. Uh, 14, and unto the angel of the church of the Laodosians, write these things, saith the Amen, the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou uh, let's see, art neither uh, cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot, Revelation 3, 1. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of, uh, out of thy mouth. That's the scariest part of the verses of the Bible, friends, to be spewed out of the Lord's mouth as he's telling us clearly this is what he's going to do if we're lukewarm. Like I said, get right, my friends, before it's too late. Repent and, and, and just get right, friends. That, that's all we can do, right? Uh, amen. All right, let's keep going. Now, because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods, 
and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable, uh, and poor and blind and naked, I counsel thee to buy of me gold that tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich with white raiment, uh, and white raiment, and thou mayest be clothed, and thou, uh, let's see, that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with thy salve, and thou mayest see, Isaiah 55, 1, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Uh, let's see, be zealous, therefore, and again, he's telling us, repent. Uh, right there, Job 5, 17, Hebrews 12, 5, and behold, I stand at the door and knock, friends, he tells us. Uh, if any man hears my voice and open the door, I will come in to him. And we'll sup with him, and he with me. Song of Solomon's 5, 2. Uh, right there. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my father uh, in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Revelation 2, 7. So there you go. Now you get the rest of the... Uh, scriptures here, friends, uh, the rest of Revelation, uh, of course. So we're going to roll on back uh, to the end here. Uh, we're going to go to chapter 20, friends, because I want to put that in there as well. So let's grab that uh, and my notes here. Let's... Amen, amen. All right, uh, let's see. Revelation 1 3 in this first hour, part one here. All right. And again, we're going to go into Revelation 20. I uh, believe, what do we say, 20 to 22 there? All right. Um, let's see. You got to get some coffee there. live on this first hour appreciate you guys dropping by hanging out with me uh again welcome uh to the channel and uh, again thank you guys the new subscribers old subscribers and uh yeah everybody on all the channels you guys are awesome thank you guys for that really appreciate that of course always uh all right what do we got going on anything are, are we just are we just chilling out here in church uh <laughs> amen all right, I gotta move my monitor out so I can see a little bit better here on the extra channel. Got the other monitor rolling right here, channel A1, extra an extra uh, monitor there. All right, stretch out a little bit. We're good to go, my friends. You're here in the studio. We're hanging out with you. You're hanging out with me. I appreciate that. Like I always said, that's the word of the night. I appreciate y'all. We're hanging out, amen, having some Bible study. I got to kind of stretch for a minute. Y'all know, sitting in a chair for more than eight hours, your work days, you guys that are doing the office jobs, you know, or the podcasts or, you know, your gamer channels and all that, you're sitting in your chair for more than a few hours. I tell you, uh, <laughs> you appreciate that back in there, uh, being able to kind of get some back support there. But I do have one of those little back braces uh, here as well so that always helps but i made sure that <laughs> i mean i i tell you friends i spend over eight hours probably 11 hours a day uh every day uh in the office here uh between the setup and the broadcast and the uh updates um you know uh, so this is like my main spot the studio a here is the main office uh in the building and so i i spend a good amount of time sitting here I, uh, you know, like I said, just updating and getting the podcast together and, and you know, studying and all that. And uh, like I said, I got a, the VIP lounge set up for our guests here off the right side and uh, got a nice, uh, nice comfortable chair there. And on the other side of the monitors, there's a whole nother podcast area uh, with a couple office chairs there and a little desk. And then, of course, we have the two right here on the other side of uh, Studio uh, B and C, we have extra studio locations that uh, we're still working on them. It's still 
<laughs> in the process of getting done, but we're uh, we're not quite there yet. But uh, we'll have uh, two more uh, units here in the building and in the uh, basement church area. And, uh, of course, our mobile units. And then we've got another one on the back side of the building, too. So lots of construction trying to get that done before the snow falls. Uh, and they're saying within a few weeks here. So trying to keep moving, trying to keep going on. So, uh, again, all the main studio stuff here I, I'm doing here in Studio A. and um, But, uh, yeah, that's uh, talking about chairs and being comfortable. And, and uh, again, full-time mission, full-time ministry. This is what I do. So uh, I'm I'm glad to do it. I appreciate the opportunity, friends. Like I said, I'm, and I, I'm thankful for you guys being here, as I always tell you. Uh, man, what a, what an awesome, just shocking, but I, I'm, I'm glad and grateful, friends. So thank you, thank you, thank you, friends. Thank you so much for your support, for hanging out with me and, uh, listening to a Bible study. Uh, amen. Having some coffee, drinking some Bible, or <laughs> drinking some Bible and having some coffee, friends. No, it's the other way around. Having some coffee and reading the Bible. There you go, just in case you missed it. Amen. Well, I say we get back to the Bible here. You know, I've got to get my rabbling time in, friends. Uh, amen. I was uh, always grateful for that. Amen. I'll let my, my bookmark's not working and not cooperating with me here. Bear with me. Uh, amen. Catch that uh, channel before it falls asleep there. Okay, so we're talking about Satan bound a thousand years here, friends. We're in Revelation chapter 20 in this first hour. Uh, yeah, we're here. Let's keep going. Uh, Revelation chapter 20 through 22. Uh, again, uh, Satan bound a thousand years here, friends. But let's keep going. Let's keep reading. Uh, as we see here in Revelation chapter 20, friends, and he says, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand, Revelation 118. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, uh, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. And set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed again. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's kind of backtrack here. Uh, so he says uh, he must be loosed a little season. Uh, let's go back up to three, I believe. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him. Again, let's go ahead and go back over this. That he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, again, we're seeing so much evil out there right now. Uh, he must be loosed a little season, friends. So let's go to the next verse here. I believe that is four. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded uh, beheaded for the witness of Jesus, over the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, and neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Uh, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Uh, Daniel 7, 9 for that. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. And this is the first resurrection church. There it is. Now blessed or blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years, Isaiah 61, 6. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. Gog and Magog, again as we're talking about, 
uh, to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Ezekiel 38.2 And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about a beloved city. And fire came down from God uh, out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Revelation 14.10 And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God and the books were open. Again, two books of life here, friends. Talking about the book of life and the Lamb's book of life. So let's keep reading here as we are in Revelation 20. If I can get to the next page there. All right, there it is. So they said, and another book was opened, uh, which is, as we see, the book of life, friends. And the dead were judged out of these things which were written in the books according to their works. Uh, and a sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up uh, the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according again. Watch the key verse here, friends. He's telling us according to their works. Uh, let's keep going. 13, and a sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man, again, according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire, and this is the second death, friends. 1 Corinthians fifteen twenty six, And whosoever was not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Chapter 21. In Revelation, friends. Let's keep reading here. Amen. Now I saw, he tells us here in 21, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, that new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away, friends, here you go, all tears from, all, uh, from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Uh, neither shall there be any more pain, friends. For the former things are passed away. Isaiah 25, 8 and 1 Corinthians 15, 26. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful, friends. And he said unto me, uh, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely, Isaiah 12, 3, and Revelation 1, 8. Now he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, uh, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and Ephesians 5, 5. All right, let's go on to 9. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which have the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talk with me saying come hither i will shew thee the bride the lamb's wife revelation 15 1 and he carried me away in the spirit of uh, or to a great and a high mountain and shewed me that great city the holy jerusalem 
descending out of heaven from God, Ezekiel 48, 1. Having the glory of God, uh, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and at a wall great and high, which, let's see, it had 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Uh, Ezekiel 48, verse 31, friends, on that. Let me double check my, oops, my clocks there. Oh, man. Let's see. All right. Uh, let's see here. About to sneeze again. Mercy. All right. Let's keep going. We got uh, a little bit more to go here in this first hour. Probably getting on the second hour here pretty close but let's keep going friends all right so uh verse 13 on the east three gates the north three gates the south three gates and of course the west had three gates just in case you forgot there you go you got it all right and the wall of the city had 12 foundations and in the names of the 12 apostles of the lamb uh, amen, Mark, let's see, Matthew 16, 18, and he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, um, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof, Ezekiel 40, verse 3, and the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth, and he measured the city, uh, the city with a reed, and 12,000 furlongs, right? And uh, the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof in 140 and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angels. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundation of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. Well, the first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third a caldoni, uh, the fourth an emerald, Isaiah 54, verse 1 for that one, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth a barrel, the ninth topaz, as we see, and the tenth a chrysoprus, the eleventh a jacinth, the twelfth and amethyst. Now, what a picture that paints, friends. Just imagine that. Close your eyes for just a minute and just think about that in your mind's eye, friends. How awesome is that to look at, friends? Amen, right? All right. The 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every several, uh, several gate was of one pearl, and the screen of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. Revelation 22, 2. Uh, he says in 22, And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. John 4, 23. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them uh, which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth to bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut up at all by day, for there shall be no night there, Isaiah 60, verse 11, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth neither whatsoever work, uh, or worketh abomination, or maketh a lie. Now here we go at the second uh, book of life here, friends. Uh, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. So there you go. Amen. All right. Um, all right. Uh, kind of double checking everything here. Want to make sure everything is good. Uh, before I sneeze in aisle six. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> All right. Well, let's keep going. Chapter 22, friends, on uh, the book of Revelation here, or in the book of Revelation. Ah, uh, man. All right. And he shewed me a pure river of water, life clear as crystal, 
proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb in the midst of the streets of it. Friends, right there. And on either side of the river they, or was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner, uh, let's see, of fruits and yielded their fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree for or were for the healing of the nations. Genesis 2 9, Revelation 2 7. And there shall be no more curse by the throne of God, friends. And of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servant shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Psalm 36 9, Romans 5 17 on that. And he said unto me, These things are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew unto his servants things which must shortly be done. We got, uh, what was it, Revelation 1 1 there. And behold, I come quickly, blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things, and I heard them, or and heard them. Uh, and where I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which shewed me these things. Uh, Revelation 19.10 for that. Oh, hang on there. All right. Nine. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of the brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God, friends. Revelation 19.10 And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, watch this, friends, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his work shall be. Isaiah 40, verse uh, 10, I believe on that one. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The first and the last. Isaiah 41, verse 4. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Uh, they are that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and adulterers and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. 1 Corinthians 6, 5. There, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto thee, unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come and let him that hear say, Come and let him that is a thirst come. Uh, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away, church, from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly, amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen, church, and amen. Something to think about, right? It's something that we got to think about. And, and as we read these words, uh, friends, really just ooh, meditate on this. Just think about that. All right, so there you go on that one. Revelation, friends, had to go to the beginning part, to the end part, uh, and get that in there. So there you go. 
All right. So we got Isaiah. We got a few more scriptures. This may not be the two hours. I don't know. We're already kind of close to that anyway. But, uh, you know, we'll roll with it, see how far we go and uh, what scriptures we got left, uh, friends. Uh, I never know. Like I said, I kind of time it with Block Talk Radio, kind of grandfathered in there, been on there 12 years already. And, uh, you know, uh, just kind of go off on their time. I'm, like I said, grandfathered in, so I get a little extra. And uh, that's always a good, you know, good thing. So, I, uh, yeah, just uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes here. All right. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to go here? Um, <laughs> if I could get my, get the clipboard up here. I wish I had another spot for it, but I don't right at the moment. I kind of like to have it, you know, right where I can get to it. But the problem is that uh, it is getting wrecked here. So let's see. All right. Uh, let's go back here um, again. All right. Um, mercy. <laughs> Somebody get that brother some coffee. Falling asleep here. It's been a long day. Again, early, early, early morning. Three hours of sleep. <laughs> I knew that was good. Sorry about that. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, there's a yawn in aisle four, six. Somebody get that brother some coffee. Yeah, about an hour and 42 minutes into it. But anyway, my uh, my days are really long. So uh, I, I think I'm getting two or three hours of sleep, maybe four if that. Uh, but there's just so much work to get done and so much, you know, hours of daylight we have. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing what I can. It's kind of a balancing act. Like I always talk about, uh, between the, like I said, I'm not complaining about nothing, but, uh, you know, it, it makes it tough sometimes in the, the two or three hours I am, I'm out, <laughs> I'm out to lunch there. Uh, and usually, uh, you know, just, I uh, try to get as, uh, what sleep I can. So like this one, I'll be up. Like these late ones here, uh, anything after 10.30, I'm usually up until about 6 or 7 in the morning and try to, you know, get a few hours of sleep there. But uh, I decided today I am not doing any work uh, outside. I'm going to just rest the whole entire day, uh, sit in my, my still spot. And uh, let's see, hold on. We got a warning on our message thing there on Restream that the Wi-Fi is out. So hopefully, uh, my friends, give me a minute. If we lose, yep, it's gone. Um, well, the audio is still going, so I'm going to load up what I can. Um, it looks like it's kind of bouncing out there, so hopefully... Um, you guys will get this, but the audio will just load up. It's going to go out uh, about an hour and 43 minutes into it, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm kind of waiting to see what happens here. Uh, they're trying to reconnect. So I'm going to still keep with the audio, but we're going to take a quick break here before we get into Isaiah 53. Uh, because um, I guess our Wi-Fi is bouncing out. There goes our restream or our blog talk, but um, hold on here, friends. So anyway, we still got the audio speaker. Um, what is it? Uh, Radio.co, our backup is still going. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. Uh, again, terrible, terrible service, terrible uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, we pay a lot of money for this, and we have massive problems with them. They just drop out at all times. So I thought maybe, you know, early in the morning I could actually get something going here. But, um, oh, well, we're, you know, we got an hour and 43 minutes into the podcast. So that was a, that was a good sign. But uh, hopefully it'll restore here. But there's not going to be anything, friends. We lost our Wi-Fi. So, again, that, I guess we're, we're wrapping it up. I don't know, about an hour and 45 minutes into the podcast, and we are blank in the, in the morning here. Uh, horrible service. Like I said, our, our local cable service is not good at all. Uh, we've been having massive problems and dropouts and, and loss there. Um, so bear with me, guys. 
Hey, man, I have to take a breather here. Well, uh, my friends, again, audio is still rolling. we got Spreaker rolling with this. So you guys that are on the audio part, you, we just lost our video part of the podcast again. Uh, and uh, so at about an hour and 43 minutes, nothing I can do. Um, our Wi-Fi dropped again. Bear with me, you guys. Hold that thought. We're going to kind of just keep rolling with this. And I think Restream has a backup. Um, hold on here. Let's see. All right. Let's see if it popped on there. Bear with me, you guys. We are going to try to see if we can't get rolling here again. Uh, again, just waiting. Waiting for it to research back in. We had a Wi-Fi drop out, uh, and I can't get back in. So let's see. Cameras are rolling, but we we dropped out there for about five minutes. Um, <laughs> it's telling us we have no Wi-Fi. Great. Uh, that's just fantastic. So our our Wi-Fi is trying to connect back. Wow. Not impressive. Whatever the Wi-Fi company is, they're they're not impressive. We've had massive dropouts with them. So I'm I'm hoping it'll reconnect here, but uh it looks like it's still kind of recording here on Restream, so that's kind of a good sign, but we've lost our internet. Uh <laughs> wow. Not impressive. Uh, friends, not impressive. So I, I don't know what we're doing here. So um, let's see. Wow. 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 Well, Spreaker, hold on, you guys. Um, we have the camera on, but nothing, like nothing, is there. It's it's uh, we we completely dropped our video. So I don't know if it's still recording on Restream. So there's uh, at about an hour and 42 minutes or so, uh, we lost our Wi-Fi. It just dropped. So I'm not sure. I guess we're done. I, I guess that's it. So uh, I'm not quite sure what's happening with that. But not impressed. Not impressed a bit. Well, I guess we're done, friends, because I can't get locked back in there. It's still kind of spinning around. It's saying that we're on, but it's it, we're not. Um, it's it's off. <laughs> we've we've lost our Wi-Fi. Um, well, that's it. Um, I don't know what to do, and I don't know what to tell you, friends. Uh, Pastor Rick Ministry Podcast Network here at about an hour and forty-eight minutes. Lost our lost our Wi-Fi. It's, we're done. Uh, and it is out. So I guess uh, I'm going to cut out our our channel here. And uh, let's see. We are we are done, friends. I I don't know what else to do. Um, let's see. Try to get back over here. We'll cut off our. Uh, we'll cut off that. <laughs> wow. All right. Um well that's not good. Uh we have lost our feed, lost our our complete channels gone. Um well, hopefully it, it showed up on Block Talk Radio as well. Uh mercy. All right, well, that's it. I guess we're done. There's no nothing. I've got no notice or anything. So, um, all right, so Spreaker, we're done. Uh, what do we got? About an hour and 48 minutes. I, that's it. I, I can't get locked back on. Um, it says it's offline. Wow. Uh, again, not impressed with the cable. They They're just not good. So let's see before I do anything here. Um, yeah, I guess it. That's it, friends. We're we're toast um, on this thing. We're we are done. Uh, so you guys only got like an hour and forty-five minutes or so. 
Um, let's see. Wow. Well, I guess I don't know. We're we're <laughs> we're done. Uh, I can't get any more, so I guess that's it. We are. Um, it's like I I'm it's trying to connect, but uh, I don't look like it's on, so I can't I can't really do anything. Oh, uh, mercy, friends. All right. Well, that's it. We we're out of here. Uh, I'm out of here. I can't uh, can't get back on. I can't log on. So if I restart it, um, it's it doesn't do any good. So that's terrible. Wow. Well, it's not Restream's fault. It's uh, it's our internet problem uh, issue that we have all the time again um, bear with me guys well that's ended <laughs> so we're done on that one sorry about that friends um, I can't I can't log back in um, it's just off we're, we're done um, Wow well that's not good. Um, let's see. So we're going to try to do this again. Um, bear with me. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. But uh, our Wi-Fi crashed. So I'll probably repeat this whole podcast all over again, friends. I'm going to have to do something here because, uh, you know, well, the audio is still going. So you guys on the audio, you're going to get all this. You're going to hear the end of this. and uh all this stuff going on uh so <laughs> i i don't know what i don't know what else to do um wow wi-fi crash once again one thousand times this thing crashed out on us and nothing i can do friends nothing uh that i can do here all right so you guys are going to get all the end stuff here um, let's see. Wow. Not impressive at all. So, all right. So, let's see. Let's see if I can't restart our computers, but uh, we're off. It's it's done. Oh, mercy. All right. Well, that's it. I'm going to cut you guys off. Or radio.co about an hour and 53 minutes we are lost on our wi-fi crashed out pastor rick ministry podcast network uh thanks for hanging in there friends appreciate your time and i'll see you on the next one and spreaker channel three uh four amen see you guys soon all right um let's see let's go to our let's go to our spreaker channel all right so anyway you guys, we lost our Wi-Fi. It completely crashed out, and uh, I'm done. I'm going to try to figure something out. And if not, I'll catch you on the next broadcast. You guys take care. Spreaker uh, Channel 1. And again, just a little close to about 2 o'clock here, 146, at about uh, an hour and 42 or 43. I don't know what time it was, but uh, about halfway through it, we lost our Wi-Fi. And uh, I'm going to shut everything down and, and try to restart and let's do a, maybe an update or something. But uh, we uh, stopped at about right after Revelation 20. Um, so um, let's see. All right. So we are probably going to just pick up from there on that end of it. Uh, we lost everything, so I'm going to have to do an update, uh, you guys, and uh, thanks for just kind of hanging in there with me uh, and being patient. So um, we're out. I'll talk to you on the next one, Pastor Rick, again for um, Saturday, the 14th or Sabbath, late night, uh, about 1130 or so, uh, friends, uh, after 11 or so, right? All right, that's it. I'm out of here. See you on the next one, guys. Thank you so much.